Hello everybody and in this tutorial you will learn how to create this shader. Right? You see, you, you see a lot of dots but you stick because its size depends on the um, brightness you can see what's happening right there on a scene. So let's create a new uh, I will leave this one. Let's create a new material that, call, that we will call shader. And uh, okay, material domain is post process. We will use this material in our post process volume right here. <clears throat> So, everything is black because the material is empty. Let's use this note. Screen position. Screen texture UV mapping. Let's visualize what's happening here. This is UV space. Uh, I hope you know what, what's this. <laughs> what is UV space? So, uh, if you will just multiply it on some value, like, it, let it be like 10, maybe, right? And then, if you will take frac, 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 then, let's see what's happening here. UV coordinates is split on multiple sections, like, each section goes from 0 to 1, from 0 to 1, and so on, 10 times. And <clears throat> if we will get the constant to vector 0 0.5, 0 0.5, minus, and vector Hmm. Let's see what's happening here. So it is the length of of the vector. So is this is actually the uh, how far is this? Is that point is from the local center of UV? Yes, each UV goes from 0 to 1. It means the 0 dot 5 is like a center of it. And here we go. Uh, and if we will just mm, clamp it on some value, clamp, clamp, mm, let it be 0 dot 5. Now the maximum value is 0 0.5. You can clearly see that we, we are starting to see the circles that goes from center of this splitted UVs. And uh, so if this clamp is from 0 to 0 0.5, then if you wanted to have uh, if we will multiply it on 1 divided by 0 0.5, what do we will have? Okay, so now the maximum value is 1. Let's promote it to parameter. And let's mm, let's do one minus mm -hmm. then multiply it on I don't know maybe on five let's let's let it be five and again clamp it.
you see the circles. And if we will, um, if we will change this parameter, you see how the circles is changing its size, right? If you uh, see this value multiply, the final one, uh, we can promote it to. I could, I will call it a blur. Then apply, and now you can see what's happening. Right, so this value uh, actually is not the blur. It probably a sharpness. <clears throat> so okay, uh, we have the circles. Now uh, instead of this constant parameter, we will try to get the brightness of the scene. Uh, so we need scene texture as scene color no not the color texture texture we will use post process input one this is actually the color of our scene let's preview it okay Everything is fine. Everything is just like always. We will use this screen texture. If we will just, if we will just use it, nothing will ch will be changed. Everything is just like always. And if we will just like multiply it on some value, like it will be like 100, for instance. and just floor it and divide it again on the same value 100 let's actually promote it to parameter and we will use it what's happening Okay, so you, you see the pixelization effect. This is pretty simple. Like, if this screen position goes from z zero to one, it means after mul multiplying on 100, it will go from zero to 100. After the floor, the values will be like zero. Zero. One, two, three, and so on. And if we will just divide it again on the same value, we will have such an effect. Because uh, let's see what's happening here on UV channel. Mm. Mm -hmm. You see what's happening here? All these squares have the same UV value. Let's return it to 100. Uh, this is the same color. So this is the color of image. Uh, we can get the length, but we need the vector 3 because we have a red, green, and blue. Then, because the, if the vector, the brightest point is 1, 1, 1, probably the, the length of the vector will be not the 1, it will be more than 1. So, let's create a constant 3 vector. It will be 1, 1, 1. Divide it. Divided. 
and let's preview and what let's see what's what's what is the output right here so everything is black and white here we, d we just uh, remove all the color only the value it's here and we will use this brightness this value as the input right here remember this node right I, I will call it a radius this parameter radius let's again let's see let's visualize what visualize what's happening here so this is the radius we will change it and the, all these dots is changing its size right uh, see this multiply it is actually it, we will use this right here what will happen a lot of dots yeah mm -hmm. and now let's save it and now we will just instead of just using using constant value constant value we will use the brightness of the image to change the radius of our dots let's see what will happen apply here we go there is a lot of dots and uh, like not we, we need to change see these parameters uh, it changes the screen position right remember this multiplier and re this one too if we will just change it like set it to 100 okay here we goes so okay it, it's like it's this is interesting I, I wonder why this is happening why this why this one is not round uh, it's, it's probably a mistake somewhere it, probably this is why this uh, points is not round it's, it's like a square because the output color after the color correction can be more than one so we have to clamp its value let's see what will happen no it's not it now I understand so right here we have the value that goes from 0 to 1 right and the maximum radius should be of these circles should be 0 0.5 because the distance from the center of the UV part to the sides is like 0 0.5, right? So we just have to multiply it to 0 0.5 and we will use it here and here. We don't need this anymore. Apply so yeah this is the final let's make, let's make it 100 yeah so here we go and you can actually like mix i think you can uh, do a little step further you can actually like mix uh, see what's happening right here so right now we, we uh, for calculation calculating the radius of the point we use on uh, three colors at the same time but uh, actually you can split this node 
right? And you can use a separate channel for creating uh, separate dots, like not black, black and white dots, but, but the colored dots. And here it goes. I hope, I hope um, this, this is my very first tutorial. I hope you like it.